Side. Show you another pretty sight. Right on around. Where are they? Where are they? Look at that. All kinds of ducks of some sort. I don't know what they are. Look like black ducks. I don't know. Are they black ducks? I what they are. Could be diedappers. Well, no, no, no. They're not mud hens. I know what a mud hen looks like. <laughs> but they was out there feeding a while ago. There's God Island over there where you see those houses way in the background. Oh, yeah. Some pelicans out there. Maybe I've done a complete circle. That eagle's still sitting over there, I believe. I, I uh, hadn't heard him fly. How's my girl? For February. For February. February 23rd, <laughs> oh, 84 right. degrees. Oh, right. Wonder why we come down here. <laughs> yeah, wonder why we're in South Florida. Wow. There in that tree. If I can find him, there he is right there. Oh, he flew. Dad, coming. Just as I was getting in there on him, he flew. I can see the manatees out there. I just, all I get is a nose probably. They're feeding right on the edge of this bar here. Manatees in here graze just like a bunch of cows. They're strictly a vegetarian. And uh, there's a sailboat out there all anchored up. We've been easing along this bar here catching trout. And I come up on these, either two or three manatees here now. When I get the camera out, they just disappear though, so stand by. I saw him come up and stick his head up just then and he went right back down. There's his nose sticking up right there. He just went right back down. Come on, man, stick your nose up again. Yeah, I can see them now. Yeah, they're moving around right there. Can't move this camera much in tight so I can I can see them, but there's two or three of the sea cows right there. You know, manatees, they're protected. Oh, yeah. and, and the thing about it is, though, a lot of people don't realize this. They're not native to the United States. They're not native to, to North America. They was brought in here uh, to feed the people that was uh, building the railroad. All right. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It's the lure? Yeah, I've been beating your eyes out with that. Okay, I see a trout coming in there. Yep. You think that's why it wasn't just a fisherman, it was the lure? No, I think so. <laughs> they like this color. Yeah. They definitely like that color. Yeah. Bob from New York. You betcha. The apple farmer. We're gonna take it to the we have a great selection of extreme boats in stock and ready to go. Huge discounts on all models save thousands by buying factory direct. Great financing available. We take great pride in manufacturing extreme boats. Every extreme boat features an all welded, all aluminum hull. Come see us. That's Extreme Boats, 10 miles north of Bonifay on Highway 79. Brent, I appreciate you taking time to meet me up here this morning. 
We need to shoot a couple new commercials, getting great response off the other ones, but we need to do something a little different. We need to focus on the entire business. What's wrong with you, man? Man, I got cramp my stomach. I, you got to excuse me, OK? Go right ahead. I need to make a phone call anyway. Hey, John, how you doing? impressed with this. I think the price of commercials just went up. Oh, what an explosion! Ow! I knew I shouldn't have ate that chili last night. Oh, oh. 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 You know, when you catch brim like this, you need a pole with some action on it. So why not get you a Red Holland Brim Master? They're sold at all your sporting goods stores throughout the Southeast. Even Little Brim feel big on a Red Holland Brim Master, so pick you one up at your sporting goods store today. I'm on Long Island. What happened to my manatees? Oh, well, stand by. There he is. There's Mr. Manatee. Bloom. Heard me talking and took off. I just got a quick shot of him there. Yeah, well, I want him to come on back up. <laughs> they just coming up and taking a quick breath and just going down. There must be five or six of these manatees right here in this area feeding right along this grass bar here. And I still see the dark spot over there. Uh, Bob's going to be landing one of them, and we'll take him and fillet him. <laughs> yeah. That's about right. My buddy Bill Till over in Jacksonville says he's got a tag. He can just keep one a year. <laughs> he's so funny. I see the dark spot on the water, but I can't get him to come up. So stand by. I'm down. Splash him up and down a little bit. You didn't let him get him, did you? You got him? Oh, no. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob, you let him get my fish. Huh? You got it. You got it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See if you had a 50-pound line over No, there. don't come here with that. Don't come here with that. I told you, don't let him get him. I told you, don't let him get him. Hold him up to the top of the water so I can get him. Well, you got him. <laughs> Just a quick snapshot. Well, he that off like you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> he oh, God. He's gone, wasn't he? That's why you need a wire leader on Oh, it. come on. You don't fish no live wire leader around here. Oh. We're just going to play with this shark. And he wound up getting my speck of trout. Oh, come on. <laughs> There he is, there's the shark right there. Did he go back down? Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's a snook, all right. I'm trying to see where he's at. Oh, yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see now. Going right on around the boat with him. <laughs> You must not know anything about camera stuff. You're supposed to keep him in the shade. <laughs> huh? All right, I got the power pole down now. Where is he? I see that pole bent. Pole bent. Yeah, he's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Man, I hear that drag just a spinning. You got that drag loose on that little. Yeah, I always do. <laughs> and the reason I do. Woo, listen to him take that drag. Yeah. Watch him take drag, folks, right there. And the reason I do is otherwise I have to pull on the side. got a loop on your line there too, I see. Right there, see it? Oh, 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 oh
<laughs> you ain't gonna worry about that now. Walk forward and I'll get you. Where's Q-Bot? Maybe he's out back. <laughs> Q-Bot, what are you doing? Destroying competitor's pricing. He's been at this all day. Mm. That's right, Quincy's Air Conditioning will be any competitor's pricing on new air conditioning equipment, changeouts, anybody and everybody. Shop the others first and get the best price you can, then call the man at Quincy's Air Conditioning. He'll beat their price by at least $100 guaranteed. So see today how Quincy's can save you money right now. Buddy's Seafood at the corner of Highway 79 in Back Beach. The freshest seafood, scallops, Apalachicola oysters, lobster, stuffed crab, grouper, snapper, and a large selection of guff and bay shrimp. And our steam bar for all shellfish. Just look at these shrimp and potatoes from our steam bar. We're open from 10 to 6, seven days a week. So for fresh seafood from the Bay and Gulf, let us steam your next meal. Don't forget, we carry crawfish. Oh, he's on the boat, on the boat. Oh, watch him get around this power pole. You want me to take the power pole? Boy, he's just taking drag, taking drag. Oh, he's gonna get around the trolling motor now. Get around the trolling motor. He's bringing him back. I'm seeing this still. He's all bowed up. He's underneath the boat. Bringing him, you 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 bringing him. I got the line, I got the line. I got the fish, I got the fish, I got the fish. He's a bow out. Nice snook. Yeah, yeah. Now, buddy, that's a nice one. You got him foul hooks. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want one of those Boca grips? Let me give you a Boca grip. You'll move forward there. I'll be able to show him. You'll be able to. Top water, folks. He hit that. He hit a top water. Bob caught him on top water. Wow. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. He sure is. That's a big old snook. Season's closed right now. And it wouldn't open up on the uh, Gulf Coast until uh, September. So, but that'd be a slot limit type fish right there. Uh-huh. And you can see he's he's getting him, getting him loose right now. Yeah. Get him on. It's out now. You got that right. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm panning back, I'm panning back. There you go. Alright, put him over side and revive him up a little bit. Watch your lures down there by your foot, Bob. Okay. Here's the way we revive them up. This is the way we always do it. Pull it, pull it, pull the bokas and it'll open. Pull it toward you, there you go. Here's the way we always revive them. We take them like this, put them in the water, let them hang on to my finger. Yeah, he bites down on your finger. Yeah. He'll just bite on that finger. And then when he, uh, when he's ready, he'll let go of it. Yeah, he bites down on that finger. I know my finger's been raw from him biting on it. Redfish will bite on it too, man. They'll yeah. chomp down on it. How big would you say he is? I don't know. We didn't measure him. Oh, he's wanting to go now. Watch your lure down there. Dolomite Incorporated, located Highway 71 south of the interstate, about three and a half miles. Folks, if it's Dolomite Lime you need at your place, they're bigger, they're better, they're cheaper. They can serve you better than anybody in the whole southeastern part of the United States. You call them right now. Get them on the phone. They'll come serve you. Dolomite Incorporated, located Highway 71 south of the interstate, about three and a half miles. And at Dolomite of Marietta, they also carry them rocks for them driveways.
This is Perry at King's Discount Drug and King's Outdoors in Chipley, Florida. We've got long guns, we've got short guns. Ladies, we want you to feel at home. Whether it's a handgun for you or a layaway for your husband, we're here to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Deer rifles, shotguns, handguns, anything you need right here at King's Discount Drug. From brim fishing to bass fishing, we've even got the red hauling poles. Got everything you need. We have ammunition, any gauge caliber you need, and all gun accessories. For all your prescription needs and all your outdoor stuff, y'all come, come see us. us. 20, 20, 29 and a half. You got him on the end down there? Yeah, I got him on the end. Well, he wouldn't keep. Huh? He wouldn't keep. What do you mean? That's 29 and a half. Yeah. That's right. Sure is. Okay. Yeah, we couldn't keep. Right. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, I see your tail moving. Boy, he's wanting to go now, isn't he? He's just holding on to your finger. Push his head out the other way and just let him go. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, folks. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. There he goes. Yoo hoo! <laughs> uh, yeah, let me talk about this. All right, there's 28. See? That's the snook limit, and then you can keep them all the way up to yeah. uh, 32. He's got a fall in that slot right there, so that fish would have fell in that slot. I believe I got to check the regulations to be sure that's correct because they change it every other week. What you got coming in? Oh, yeah, I'm getting the side of the boat. That's Uh, I lost him. He came out from under the sun shining. Oh. Oh, I listen to him take that drink. I see it. I'll tell you what. What? This, uh, this new minnow, that saltwater assassin, assassin people put out. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I finally got him. Oh, me, you, you mean you hadn't had him all this time? I've had the splash. Oh, you've had the splash. Uh-oh, the battery's going dead on this, too. Everything we got, the battery's going dead. All right. Good redfish, baby. There we go. How about that? That is pretty. How much will, will this uh, measure? Oh, baby, he's plenty long enough. He'll measure. He'll measure 20 inches. Yeah, he'll measure 20 inches. Yeah, he'll measure 20 inches. Yeah, he'll measure 20 All right. He's a rider. Look at his eyes. Are you tight on his eyes? No. Huh? I'm getting tight. <laughs> You're walking toward me. That's the only way I know. See his it. eyes looking yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. He's a bottom feeder. Oh, is that? That's what that means. I bottom feeder you're... like a shell cracker. Uh -huh. My eyes look down. Bottom well, feeder. I tell you what, he's good to eat like a shell cracker. <laughs> no, he ain't half as good as a shell cracker. Put him in the live well, baby. He's a rider. Pretty. He is pretty. Live well. Live well. Oh, with the, little old trout in with there. the trout that I caught. Nah. Yeah, put him in there with that trout that I caught. Yeah, little old bit that of trout. keeper trout that I, I caught. I hope he don't eat that one. Yeah, I hope he doesn't too. <laughs> All right, that's it. Atlas is the only state certified local manufacturer of wood and aluminum portable buildings. We have all sizes, wide doors, six foot to four foot, roll ups. Don't just buy anything. We can put the doors and the windows where you want them. We build our own trusses, carports, barns, enclosed or open. Folks, I just got a six by 10. They delivered it the same day. Just give us a call at Atlas Portable Buildings. Five minutes north of the Panama City Mall on Highway 231. Hi, I'm Barry. This is Barry Specialty Batteries. Y'all come on in. We got all the batteries you'll ever need. We've got batteries for your camcorder, digital camera, laptop computer, cell phone, VHF radios, cordless shavers, cordless tools, and your car door locker. Your power tool not giving you the runtime you need. Let me build you a souped up battery pack. We have a full line of marine batteries and we also build custom cables. That's very specialty batteries.
All these windows were installed by Custom Glass. Big jobs in old and new businesses and condos. No job is too big or too small. All the glass and the new addition at the Bay Medical Center. Any type mirror, glass tabletop, and we specialize in enclosed showers. So if your need is any kind of glass, call Custom Glass today. This is the canal going out into San Carlos Bay. Right across from Sanibel Island, we're leaving Pine Island. And I'm gonna pan around right now and keep that sun out of the camera as much as I can. And there's my two stars right there on today's program. This is my boat, my next door neighbor Rod's driving, and my buddy, my apple farmer from up in Long Island, Bob, is going to be showing us how to do this today. We're going trout fishing, red fishing, snapper fishing, whatever's going to bite on Outdoors with Red today. You're talking about beautiful. We left Beth standing on the shore back under. She was just waving at us. So. Welcome to a brand new Outdoors with Red show in South Florida. We're approximately 135 miles due south of Tampa. That you can see way over there is Sanibel Island. All right, Ron. I got All you right. old, man. Oh, look at that. Nice trout. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that is a nice trout. All right. Turn him around, hold him up to the camera, and, uh... Get and, on here. Huh? There you go. <laughs> nice little trout. Yeah, why don't you catch him on there now? Got him on a grub, one of them little swimming yep. grubs. Okay. All right, he's got to be 15 inches. Oh, he'll make that. All right. All right, uh, Bob, what's the name of these islands we're out here by? These islands right now are an, an, an island that's- <laughs> What, you saw the bite? <laughs> no, I was on the bottom. They're, they're on uh, regular. Regular. Regular island, you bet. All right. Good island. Real good island. 16 inches. Right 16 again. inches? All right. Well. Put him in the front line, Will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're using artificial. We do have some shrimp on board. Bob went and, and got us some shrimp this morning first thing. So we got some live shrimp down in there. It, uh, we may have to eat them later. What, there's no water in it? Nope. Well, turn on the live well pump, I guess. All right. So, folks. Glad to have y'all with us. Watch this cast right here. Watch this cast. There he goes. You know, when you catch brim like this, you need a pole with some action on it. So why not get you a Red Holland Brim Master? They're sold at all your sporting goods stores throughout the Southeast. Even little brim feel big on a Red Holland Brim Master. So pick you one up at your sporting goods store today. We love to fish at the City Marina. Folks, the Panama City Marina is open seven days a week. Anyone can fish with just a dollar permit from the marina office. Look at all the neat stuff. Let your wife shop in our first class marine store. Live and frozen bait and fish and tackle you'll need. Pull in for gas and diesel fuel. We also have boat slips covered and open for rent. And we're just a short walk from downtown Panama City. I bring my family fishing here all the time. I had a fish on there. No, nah, you didn't. Know, oh, you I said, oh, this is a good one, Red. This is a good one. Well, look at here. Take that home, and you and Doris can boil that for dinner tonight. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, y'all yeah, need to boil that. I'm going to use it for riprap. That's what I'm going to Yeah, riprap. Listen, talk to me just a second. Yeah, I'm going to use that for riprap. All right, listen. Yeah. 
You raise apples in New York out on Long Island. That's correct. Man, they don't grow apples in New York. Oh, they sure as hell do. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Not only that, we raise peaches, we raise uh, plums, and we use uh, blueberries. Oh. All four of them. How many, how many, how big a place you got up there on Long Island? Uh, 15 acres of, of uh, fruit. Nothing oh. but fruit. That's all we raise is fruit. Yeah. What do you do with the apples? We sell them to make money. No, I'm, I'm talking about is it all you pick or do y'all pick them? Or? Oh, yeah, we have we have a combination of a lot of things. We use you pick. We also have pies, jams, jellies, anything we can make from apple cider is another very big thing, the apple cider. And uh, the apple pies, also the other thing. Y'all you know, bake all those right oh, there? You yeah. must have a yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have an approved kitchen. And uh, we're government inspected. Everything's government inspected today. Okay, all right. Apples on Long Island. Oh, That's man. Right. You betcha. Apples right. on Long Island. And they are good, too. I wonder if maybe, maybe Doris can take that and make something out of it. I'm going to take it. Well, you, keep, you hang on there, and I'll get you a decent sheep. Now the work is all done, I'm gonna have a little fun and go fishing today. I can almost feel a granddaddy could give. Trying to check my bait, baby, I can't wait to go fishing today. Fishing today. Fishing.